Today, I'm going to be giving you my big, fat, bloated opinion on the dancers I feel who had the best moments in this Invitational Lindy competition at the Snowball event that happened a few weeks ago. Generally, when you hear Invitational Lindy, it just means you're going to be watching really popular dancers or they're not very popular at all, but really good or sometimes just a combination of both of those categories. And if I go by who's competing in this clip, I think it's going to be a little bit of a combination of both. But before I jump in, make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to access my entire swing dance catalog. I spent over 10,000 hours deconstructing swing dancing in order for you to understand how to master it from a principled perspective. This will help you master the objective parts of Lindy Hop quickly and understand how to unlock your creative potential. First, let's take a look at my second favorite performance by Remy and Alice. These two have so much chemistry when doing a choreographed piece and even a Jack and Jill format such as this. Now, what I really like about this set, guys, is they don't just jump straight into business. There's a tremendous amount of melodious rapport and restraint being demonstrated between the dancers and the song that they have to dance to. Remy and Alice mirrored as much as possible the main melody of this tune, which helps the viewer appreciate the song. Now, of course, I honestly don't feel like this is a great song at all. And in fact, I hate it. Them being able to do this is a sign of being really mature dancers. And the lesson is sometimes you have to guide the audience along to a melody that may not match the strength of your dancing. In fact, I actually don't really like how the song seems to drag the dancers down a bit. There was a moment where the dancers echo the main melody in a very creative manner that got the audience involved. I felt that this moment was the real beginning of their set. I will say this moment seems to be executed in a way that lets the viewer know that this moment really wasn't choreographed. And that's because it isn't as tight as it would be if it were. I'm not actually complaining about that at all. In fact, I'm actually celebrating the fact that this highlights the following skills of Alice. Another thing that stands out is how well they were able to balance doing solo jazz separately and then return back to dancing together. Sometimes dancers do this in a clever way to break up the monotony of doing the same moves over and over. Others break away to solo jazz in a more gimmicky way to kind of reveal they don't have enough creative partner dancing material. I feel Remy and Alice did it in a timely fashion, even though I didn't really enjoy the specifics of what they did because they were moving at the exact same time 
instead of moving in a call response format. That's just my preference. But overall, even though I felt the song was lacking, they had that moment that made me feel their performance was worth talking about. Now let's transition into my favorite performance of this competition. And that is from Sky and Frida. So helpful. Excuse me, go right ahead. Do you want to dance right now? Go ahead, go ahead. Here we go, we turn it over to Sky and Frida and we put you in the capable hands of the Stockholm Swing All-Stars with another tune. Yeah. seeing great swing dancing and the foundation of great swing dancing for me is rooted in strong control of the technique which i ultimately feel is the inimitable quality of sky and frida's approach initially the song that they were dancing to is what stood out to me then what caught my eye was their ability to do what they do best while simultaneously highlighting the song without trying to be something that they're not this song is very flashy, but their dancing often seems very reserved and refined. The thing that makes the song stand out is how well they use syncopations with their feet to visually amplify the song's melody. Now what's great is they did all of this without doing anything transcendent with the shapes. <laughs> they literally did swing outs, tuck turns, tandem Charleston, and just the classic Lindy Hop stylings they always do in every single performance. If anybody else did those things repeatedly without any augmentation or ingenuity, I, out of all people, would be complaining. But I can't complain in this case because they balance the ability to do rhythmic syncopations with their footwork in order to highlight the song's uniqueness without undermining their primary thing that they do best. And sometimes this is more appreciated than doing a bunch of musicality at the expense of the thing that you do best. This very thing is what I feel Sky and Frida did better than Remy and Alice. Remy and Alice, of course, had more flashy moments, but they looked compromised trying to amplify the song's musicality because in some cases it looked like they did it at the expense of controlling the technique. At least this is what it looked like visually to me. This doesn't happen once with Sky and Frida's performance. And honestly, this is what I kind of expect from them. Now, the thing that really surprised me about this performance is how much they showed musicality as compared to the few times they typically do it in most performances. But I actually felt they increased the amounts of musicality in this performance to better highlight the song that they were dancing to and, it, and ultimately I feel it paid off. Now, let's take a look at my favorite move out of the entire competition. It was actually not from either of the two performances that we just watched, but from Peter and Naomi.
I really love this moment, guys, because it reminds me of the shapes I do when, when moving at a faster tempo, when doing the Charleston. It just so happens that they are moving to a slower swing beat, but are swinging their arms as if they are doing the Charleston. This moment was so dope and, and was altogether my favorite move from the entire competition and really planted in my mind some new ideas that I'm going to experiment with. What was your favorite moment? of this competition. Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you in my class online. Take care.